Hello everyone, welcome to your 20th Ionic Tool with Firebase Tutorial. My name is Dave Partner and don't forget to get to my channel and subscribe. So to get to my channel, you just visit YouTube slash C slash brain term org on your browser and hit enter. Then when it opens, you go, you pan out to the right and hit so the subscribe button or you can hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this video if you're watching straight from YouTube well now that is sorted in this video I will show you how to do more customization of your any app and um, the first thing you want to do is to open your project folder and open this file so um, let's quickly open our project folder which is file blogger and uh, we go to the app folder we we'll go to theme and we open this folder called app variables this is where you can declare global variables that will run across your full app okay um, going to close this so this is the one we want to work with that's just what we open right now so uh, like I told you in the past tutorial this represents your app okay this represents the things we, uh, we would use in this app let me just show you um, every time you use primary this is the color that shows up every time you use secondary this is the color that shows up green and so on and so forth so if you wanted to change the colors what you can do maybe if you don't like this shade of blue what you can do is you adjust the color my text editor has this uh, pop-up and um, that's why I'm able to have this uh, color palette pop-up so if you're not using this exact um, text editor you can go get it or you find a text editor that has um, color picker mine is code lobster PHP edition you can um, search for it online and download it can help you pick colors all right so we just change the color of primary so let's go to our app, open a random file. Uh, maybe let's just open the home page. Uh, pages, home, and uh, open with. And then when it opens, we can just add a color to this. We've come to the header bar and we add primary. Primary. This should color the, the header here to be the new color we have. As you can see this is the new color of our application as you can see the, the color of the, the primary has changed which means if we get back to this variable and change it to something like red for instance or brown and save this should reload and have us like this okay so this is where you change the default basic color remember that this these names also work for buttons and everything as you can see this one has changed to it works exactly with this guy so if I click this this will be brown too okay so that's one way one thing you can do right here I'll quickly do ctrl Z and go back all right the next thing we can do is to have we can add more here you, you can be you, you're not limited to this we can add more let's just say um, more color more color so you can really add more so we have this arrow then the first variable we will de declare there the pre first property we we'll declare there is called base you must call it base then you select a non uh, uh, select a color let's just say that the color we're selecting is um, somewhere here base then you have contrast it must be this too then we choose a lighter color for contrast probably something around close to white and um, now we've created this, this new property property so what we have to do is come here and uh, change this in the home okay it's refreshing we get back to our home and it didn't 
okay we have an error here so this is just a, a comma and then it refreshes and there we have it so the base is the background color as you can see the background color here we have is like that brown or something that's the base then the contrast is the text color and the icon colors okay so you can start you can now start using this everywhere around your app so it will help you to really customize your app you can change the text of all these things just by adding uh, going to where they are and adding more color so that's how to create a custom uh, as you can see it's now um, brown it's now taking the color um, the next thing we can do is to even further create it what if as you can see from here there's a problem it doesn't reflect in all the pages this is just one page so imagine that you have like 15 pages in your app uh, you can be changing them one by one which means there has to be a way all right the first thing you want to know is that you can declare variable uh, and say custom height so you can just declare any variable if you want to declare a variable in your search file you use the dollar sign first then you call your variable anything then you give it a value let's say that the custom height is 300 pixels just for the purpose of testing then we can now start calling a selector if you know your css well you should know that um for instance this header bar the selector will just have to copy this and come here and say header bar this way and then we say height this guy height is um this guy so guess what will happen the height has dropped to this point that is line you're seeing but there's something else inside height that has not dropped um, so when we get back we say that we see that there is a height and height has dropped but then there is a nav bar that has not dropped so we have to write a css for nav bar too so we can say hey both height and nav bar should drop so that is what we just did now we just made sure that height and nav bar dropped by putting this comma so this custom here is now taking is now on um, 300 pixels so this will be um this will just go round across your app especially the height as you can see then for each uh, page in your app you can work out the now now the other thing i want to show you is um height is not the only thing you can do you could do other things like uh, color which is text color and uh, and a whole lot of things okay um this is not the only selector you could use you could come to your page for instance and uh, create a um, a class and call the new class um, dave so if our new class is dave we can go back to our search and say everywhere there is a class called dave as you can see this dot represents class everywhere there is a class called dave we want the height to be this or we want the, the font size size to be 30 pixels the reason why you need to declare this variable somewhere outside is that if you are customizing several parts of your app and you are writing lots of css you basically want to change the height only once and it will reflect in many places for instance if we wanted to change the height here we could um, simply say copy this guy and paste here be observant watch this guy here when i save it's now so big okay so if you are writing lots of css and you then you want to make sure that you don't change stuff so often you, you basically assign a variable to it then use the variables all right um that's it basically for customizing your app in inside ionic i will just quickly show you one last thing all right sorry i changed my mind uh in the next tutorial i'll show you something really amazing we are going to import material design google material design uh 
the way it is online material design light and put inside this app and you'll see the amazing touch then we have to go out and we have to log out and properly design our logout page to look really cool okay so see you in the next video tutorial i'm going to delete all this so that my app will come back to normal all right thank you